So here we are, Monday, February 25th, on the start of the very first tower component to go up to the site, leaving Port Hardy. The first piece to go is the blade, one of the blades. So here's the first piece of tower component. Pilot cars leading the way. This first section should be a blade. The blade is 48 meters long. And from the tip of the nose of the truck to the end of the blade, we're looking at over 200 feet here. The very first section of the towers to go up to the wind farm site. We've got 29.2 kilometers of this road to travel. Then they have another 30 kilometers to the site where it's going to spend the next 20 years. See how huge this is, taking up my whole frame in wide angle here. And it's on its way. Got about six hours it's going to take to get to the top of the mountain. A long journey. And there's seven more components to come with this load. Uh, here's the first section of blade coming up. This is the one we filled earlier leaving the site. Sorry, leaving Port Hardy. It's taken about five and a half hours to get up here up on top of Cape Scott. That blade is 48 meters long from the tip of the truck. The tip of the blade is over 200 feet long. Traveling at a speed of about five kilometers an hour. And there are 165 of these blades to come up. Over 440 tower components in total to come up to the site. The cab of the truck gives you some reference about how massive these blades are. Right now we got winds of about 80 kilometers an hour and it's starting to hail, which for Port Hardy up on top of Cape Scott, that's pretty much a nice day.
one of these components is led by two pilot cars, one traveling about a kilometer ahead clearing traffic, one trailing behind, and one on either end of the uh, that corner and about another 15 kilometers into the job site to where it's going to spend the next 20 years of its life.